who was there with Bartimaeus, according to some of the other versions of the Bible, said he could not go with Bartimaeus. And there may be some people as you move to the next level in your ministry and the next level that God has called you to do, they won't be able to go with you. Also, everyone won't understand you when you move to the next level in your ministry. Because you'll start to see some things from a different perspective. Yes. God will start opening your eyes to see some stuff that you've never seen before. And when he does that, there'll be some people who will not understand even the things that you're saying out of your mouth. When God tells you to go into the middle of the wilderness and build your church, there's some folks who say that's no way that's going to work. The book says that's not going to work. But I'm going to tell you that if God says go into the middle of the wilderness and build a church, that's exactly what he means. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a biblical story where there was a man who he told him to go by the brook mm -hmm. and hang out at the brook. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to feed you at the brook. Mm -hmm. Now that was crazy. That was unthought of, and many of us who were here today would have said, well, I don't know about that. I'm going to the store to get a little food to take with me as I go by the brook. But guess what? No, the prophet was bold enough to say, if God said it, I'm going to do it. So they went, he went by the brook, and guess what happened? Mm -hmm. Every single day. Yes, until it was time for him to move to the next level. Yes, and I'm going to say to you that if God says this is what you need to do, you need to move to this particular place, you need to move to that particular place because that's what God has said for you to do. Because remember, uh, we talked about the right place at the right time. Yes, and remember that he dried the brook up in order to move him to the next level. And as he moved him to the next level, there was somebody else's appointment mm -hmm. tied to blessing him. And in many cases, your appointment is tied to somebody else. And just because that woman was able to feed him, hello somebody, he would have never run into that woman if he would have not been in the right place at the right time. This woman said, I'm giving up on everything. So she went out at the right place at the right time to gather some sticks to go ahead and give up on everything. And I'm here to say to you, if you may be wanting to give up on everything and you find yourself gathering the sticks so you can have your last meal, but there's a divine appointment because you said, Lord, there's nothing else that I can do. I just need your help to help me through this situation on this circumstance. And when you find yourself there, God is going to make some stuff happen for you. When you decide yourself, there's no way I can make it. God, God don't say, wait a minute. Now that's one of my servants calling. I hear his voice. I hear her voice calling. Because I hear that voice calling. Come on up.